using Move and Copy in Cloud CI. Here's today's starting point. I have a Cloud BCI Operation Center and two controllers, all are at version 2.375.3.5. Let's start in the CM11 controller. On this controller, I have a job and also have two folders on this controller. Each of these folders also have jobs. If we take a look at CM12, at this point, there are no jobs and there are no folders. So let's go back over to CM12 and let's understand how to move a job. So in this case, what I can do, if I want to move job one from the root of our controller into team one, I'll click on job one, click on move, copy, promote. And in this case, I'm going to click into this box and I'm gonna say team one. By selecting team one, I can move job one into team one. So we'll click on move. We'll wait for it to go ahead and get everything prepared. It'll copy the files from the root of the controller into the team one folder. Now that that's complete, let's go ahead and click on close and it will drop us into job one within this controller. And you'll notice that it's rendering job one inside of the team one folder. We can also see it here under full project name. If we click into team one, we'll see job one and then also my job. If we go back up to the root of CM11, we'll see that the only two items at the root of the controller are now team one and team two. So that's moving a job within the same controller. Well, what if I wanted to copy the job for job one? So if I click on job one, we can see that this is run a couple of times. If we take a look at the output, we can see that the output is just hello world. Let's say this job is exactly what I want. So I'll go to job one and I want to make a copy of this job. So I'll click on move, copy, promote, and I'm going to copy. Now I have a couple of options here. I can copy with builds or I can copy without builds. Let's assume for a moment that I want to copy without builds. So I'll say copy without builds. I'm going to stay in team one. Now, when I click on this, what you'll notice is that it's done, but it really didn't do anything. And why is that? Well, because the job name, job one, already exists within this folder. So let's say I want to copy job one over to the team two folder. So we'll click on job one again, move, copy, promote. I'm going to click on the X beside team one. I'm going to select team two, and I'm going to say copy without builds. Now that that's complete, let's click on close and watch the breadcrumb. You'll notice that we are in now in job one, team two, which we can also see here. You'll also notice that there is no build history. So let's modify this job. And instead of saying hello world, we'll say uh, goodbye. So we'll say goodbye and click on save and click on build now. Now by copying the job over, all it's doing is copying over the definition of the job without the build history, because that's the choice that we made. We take a look at the output of this job, we can see goodbye. So now at this point for CM11, we have team one, which has a job one and my job. And then we also have under team two, we have the T2 job, which was the initial job there. And then the copy of job one, which we made changes to for team two. Now let's say for a moment that our controller now has too many jobs or it's too busy. And I want to go ahead and take this team two folder and put it over on the CM12 controller. Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to click on move, copy, promote while we're in team two, or the other thing we can do is hover over team two and click on move, copy, promote. Either is fine. Now in this case, instead of going to CM11, what I want to do is I want to click on the X, click back into the box and select CM12. And also here, I want to go ahead and click on move because we're gonna move all of the workload that is associated with team two from CM11 into CM12. So let's go ahead and click on move. And now that the move is completed, we'll click on close and again, watch the breadcrumb. What we can see here is now that the team two folder is now on the CM12 controller. So if we click on CM12 in the breadcrumb, we see the team two folder here on CM12. If we go back up to the operations center, click back into CM11, the only folder that we see there is team one. So at this point, team two has now been completely moved with all the build history from CM11 to CM12. Now, in addition to using the web browser, like I just showed you, you can also use the CLI to do exactly the same thing. Review the documentation to see all the different ways you can work with move and copy in Cloud CI. The link to that documentation is down in the description. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees.
If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.